everybody, I am Golden Turkey, and I'm back with another map making video. That's right, let's get right into it. We have a big episode ahead of us, episode 4. So we have Olgaragara's head, A plus NB, who has a custom crafting um, generator that I'm going to be using. Pillow Fight 97, who has a massive list, so big that it won't fit into a page, so I'm just going to leave it out. Um, but let's have a look. There's Norikum. Teleport to villager in the air before you kill it. Um, so, I fixed that, so we'll get a snowball. So that when you throw it, the villager doesn't show any particles anymore. Um, you'll see the uh, redstone block fall in the distance. There we go. No particles. Cool. So what that did pretty much is teleport it heaps high in the air so that when it kills it, there's no particles. While the particles are up in the air where it gets teleported to. Um, then there is S Daily Universe. Make backpacks. Um, I tried. I really tried. Um, I spent a long, 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 long time trying to figure out a backpack mechanic. There was one by Squirt Dude uh, that I was trying to fit into a command block clock because what was wrong with his was um, that once you teleported the donkey with chests uh, on the side of it, um, you could walk around and the donkey wouldn't teleport to you anymore, so it'd stay there. Um, so that's what I didn't like about it. I couldn't think of anything to fix it. Um, I spent a long time on it. I think it was like three or four hours trying to fix it, but I couldn't. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is just do the weight thing, like I was saying. This small bag, um, you only <clears throat> each item has a different weight, and the small bag can only um, hold so much weight. The medium bag... Oh, excuse me. The medium bag uh, can hold more weight. And the large bag can hold the most weight. So you can hold more stuff in the large bag. I think I might add an army bag, which has um, even more st uh, stuff you can hold. Um, maybe unlimited. Um, and, okay, so we'll keep looking. Uh, Darth Vol says soft drinks should give you a buff and cost you hydration uh, instead of give you hydration hydration and um, give you a debuff uh, which I will fix in a minute uh, right after I finish this um, so A plus NB says uh, bandages should also heal you as well um, yes yes they should I will also do that and the next one is Moonshine. If you die, does your old body get turned into a zombie? To that, I replied with, I'll try figure something out. Um, hopefully I can. Maybe um, I'll teleport an armor stand constantly to the player, and when the player dies, that armor stand gets killed and replaced with a zombie with a custom player head. Um, I think that'd be a pretty cool idea, but I'm not sure how much lag that would cause constantly teleporting the thing to uh, the armor stand to the player. I don't know if that's going to cause too much lag. Um, I think that's all of it. Oh, and Ol Olgra. Um, world border um, red outline should be used when you bleed. So when you are outside the world border, there is a red outline on the uh, outside of your screen. So it's like an overlay of red. And I was thinking, uh, yeah, we could, we could actually do that. So I'll get to those three mechanics uh, right now and I'll be back when they're each done. So, um, yeah, that one where you drink the cola and it gives you a buff and minus hydration doesn't look like it's possible. Uh, well, from what I can tell. Um, effect clear, that's the only way I know how to get rid of an effect. But if I do that, then it's constantly going to clear every effect. So the bandages won't work, any other mechanic that I have that uses an effect will just not work anymore because uh, just this thing right here. Um, so unless you can specify it to only one um, potion effect which is weakness. So if I could clear weakness like so or something like that and only weakness then yeah that'd be good because at the moment it just clears every effect. Um, so, unless I can fix that, looks like this isn't going to happen. <laughs> okay, guys, I want your opinion. Um, I've used Seth Bling's, um, 
Seth Bling's creation, the damage tint, which will be in the description, the video. Uh, but I've modified it a little bit. Um, Red Blood, I'm um, not using the exact same scoreboard objective he is. Um, so pretty much, uh, you can go watch his video for a demonstration and tutorial of how it works, but I'm just going to show um, what it does. Uh, so this is my health. I'm... I, oh, I need your uh, idea first. Should I only have it do this when I'm bleeding? Or should I have it constant, like 24-7? If I take any damage, it'll do this. See the red tint around the side of my screen? That's coming up. Slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly. See that red tint around the side of my screen? Should I only have that when I'm bleeding? Or should I have it just constantly throughout the map. I'm not too sure. Um, please leave your suggestions in the comments. Okay, so I got the storyline started. Um, I've recorded all my voice. It's taken me about three hours or something just to do this little bit. I had to figure it all out how to do it again, but I'll show you what it is. So you spawn in this little room here and there's a lever. So you're like, oh, okay, I'll press the lever. Do you want to get us killed? Huh? Turn the light back off. So, okay, okay, got to turn the light back off. Now what? What do we do now? Alright, that's your ride. When you get in the back of the van, we'll tell you what to do through this portable radio. And don't mess this up for us. This is our one shot at getting the big money. Alright, so that's all I've got so far. Um, and then you hop in the back of the van, there's a armor stand here, and I'm going to make it so that when you stand um, next to the armor stand, it's going to activate and you're going to start in the sewer, and uh, stuff's going to happen. But what this radio is, is a little sort of like a different radio to the one I've showed before. Um, this radio is actually going to, um, it's going to pretty much show text on screen. So it's going to have radio in uh, square brackets like um, like radio, then hello, like something like that. It's going to look like that, but without my name there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much ju uh, used just so it saves storage and megabytes on the file size because it, it'll be a massive file otherwise. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, um, it, the file doesn't end up too big. <laughs> So I've made a slight adjustment to the story, guys. I have changed it from a bank to a prison. I think that is going to be a, uh, a lot better, um, seeing as I just find it a little bit unrealistic that the police are going to get to the bank so quickly. Like, two minutes to rescue or to do the bank heist and then the police are going to be there is a bit short of a time. Like, two minutes is enough time to get their stuff ready and head, head off from the police station. But getting there in two minutes and being arresting someone is just a bit unrealistic. But I have it so that when the player walks through here, there's pressure plates on the floor. I'm not sure if you can see it. But they are invisible. So what they do is they're going to activate uh, a voice played by the Minecraft avatar, which I will display, show you guys when I have them. Uh, but you're going to run through here. And basically what when you're running through here, he's going to tell you that you have one minute to save your friends or save your friend from in the prison and you have to come up here and you have one minute to figure out how to get out of this place and the answer to that is go through here and when you do that you have to come through here uh, all these doors will be closed and you come through and you have a minute to do this and you go through here and this lever is meant to be off you read this doors closed is up doors open so you open them all your villager friends will run out the evil bandit guys they'll run out over here and um, they will actually follow you down here that's if you can do it in time and uh, yeah if you get down here in time then you succeed and if you don't get down here in time then pretty much you fail and you are in jail uh, which is what it was gonna do but yeah I think that's a pretty cool idea uh, a minute to save your buddy friends and if you don't then you're in jail uh, I just think it's a bit more realistic than uh, having the police go to you. So uh, this is the redstone for all the voice activation and stuff. Um, this is just a one-time use. So if I stand on that, it sits there to redstone block. Uh, if I stand on a pressure plate, it'll go through here, set that block to air so I can't activate it again. Um, it's a one-time use, unless I stand on here. 
Um, and pretty much all it does is um, play sound, which is the radio um, sound, um, which is this one here. That one there. And then it uh, says bad news and then sets that block to air, which means you can only use it once. And then pretty much after that, it just fills this with a whole bunch of uh, falling sand every once in a while. Deletes the one. So this block deletes that one. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Oh, goodbye falling sand. <laughs> but I'm going to have uh, a longer delay and the, uh, the uh, command with the voice in it is going to be here. Uh, but I haven't got the Minecraft avatar's voice acting of that part yet. So let us refill that with stone. Oh, crack stone. I need to go like that. Like that. I think that looks not too bad, but I'm going to have to replace a few blocks with normal uh, monster eggs so it doesn't look too cracked there. Or should I leave it there? Should I leave it like that so the player knows where to throw it? Yeah, I might leave it like that. Alright, cool, cool. Okay, okay. So, I have the minute timer set up. So, when I place a block here, one minute until it gets stuck here. And we're back with the buddy Mblor. How's it going, bud? Mm -hmm, it's going good. It's going good? Alright. He's good. helping me test this. So, um, I'll... Dude, it's always going good when I'm about to blow something up. Oh, yeah, exactly. Alright, so... Mm -hmm. Go over to this uh, wall over here. You're going to be right. playing the map like um, like you've just started the map, and you're like, oh, oh I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm no, so excited. Right. Oh, okay. All right, so go over to this wall and then press Q on the TNT. All right. So can I? S oh, oh, I can slip through here. That's cool. I'm so skinny. Look at that. So are we, we're we're in the sewers now. Yep. Okay. You have two minutes to get in and out. Oh, 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 this is intense. Oh, wait. This is intense. Hold up, wait, wait. I forgot to do something. Well... All right, come back through. Well, I feel like... I feel like with that part, since you're coming this way, it wouldn't be that much of an issue because you just flow with the water. Yeah, yeah, true. So... All right. Um, Bag. Go through Are you again? going to reset go the time? Again? This, this, these bars? Yeah. And then hit the pressure plate. Yeah. Okay, and then sprint. I'm guessing. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So I'm a thief. Figure out where to go. Oh shoot! Oh, I'm in creative. Yeah, that's kind of that's designed so that you can't get through there. Should I fly back up yeah, yeah. or? Yeah. Okay. I literally just jumped into it. <clears throat> okay, there we go. No, 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 don't go through there. Don't go through there. Or where? Where do I go? Where Come do back, go? Uh, back through here. Back through where? Uh, back to me. Back where you came. Okay. Out. I should, All right. ah, good idea, I should actually, there's meant to be barriers there, I don't know why there's not barriers. Alright. Okay, anyway. You're meant to go up here. Oh. Oh! Wait, did I go the wrong way in the first place? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Then why is that spot there? Um, well, there's meant to be barriers oh. there, blocking the way. Okay. That's weird. So up here, right? Yep. All right, I'm in the bank. Yep. Now you gotta figure out what to do from here. Oh really? It's actually a prison. Wait, what are the what are these? Okay, I, um, I are them. these like? Oh well. <laughs> Sorry. Oh good. All right. I forgot I was in creative. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait. So like, I can't. What are, are there? Alarm systems or anything like that? No, no. Like, this is just that just... test run to see. Up oh, doors closed. Doors open down. Okay. All right. Uh. All right. I see. I see. So. All right. That's it's it. One of these. That's it. All okay. I all I wanted to know was how long it would take the player to get from that pressure plate where it says um, you have two minutes to get to that light switch. Okay. Ooh, thanks for the help, bud. Oh yeah, no problem. Whoa. Uh, Mblor's channel will be in the description if you want to check him out. Oh, oh shucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's enough for today. I've done quite a lot of work. Um, hopefully, next episode, we can get to making and designing 
the uh, zombie apocalypse, what the place looks like after the zombie apocalypse happens. Maybe I might have to work on the storyline a bit more. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the episode. Remember to follow me on Twitch. That will be down in the description as well. Um, Imbler's channel will be down there. Um, and leave your suggestions in the comments, and I will read every one of them uh, if I like it. And if I have not read uh, one similar to that before, oh, magpie hit my window. I will put it in the um, in the book. If you leave your in-game name, your player head will be there as well. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.